And it's not just Irma. There are two other hurricanes that are gaining strength. All of them could make landfall this weekend. I spoke with AccuWeather meteorologist Brittany Boyer. Here's what she had to say. Yeah, well, right now, it's really on the brink of being a Category 5 hurricane. The latest uh, update from the National Hurricane Center now has it at winds at 155 miles per hour. A Category 5 hurricane begins at 156 miles per hour. So uh, over the next day or so, we are going to continue to see it kind of going back and forth here uh, with its intensity. But no doubt about it, it's still a dangerous storm here. Right now, it's moving to the west at 14 miles per hour. And eventually, we do expect it to kind of start to make a curve. And that's where we start to worry about Florida. What about the Bahamas and Cuba right now? Yeah, the Bahamas and Cuba are in the thick of it right now. We've actually seen the center of circulation grow in size. So we're looking at tropical storm force winds within 185 miles outside of this powerful hurricane. So you can see Cuba getting that heavy rainfall right now. Also the Bahamas seeing some of that heavy rain. And we are going to continue to watch this storm system shift over the next 24 to 48 hours. Brittany, do you see a scenario or a possibility that once Irma goes over Bahamas and Cuba, it could perhaps weaken consider considerably? We're not expecting any uh, significant weakening here with this storm. Uh, just since I've gotten to work today, it started off at 150 miles per hour, and now it's at 155 miles per hour. So the center of circulation, it's over open water, and these are warm cord storms, so they kind of feed off of the warm water, and it's certainly very warm right now. Now, interaction with land, yeah, you can see some weakening, but we're not expecting a whole lot to happen. You can see our forecast track here over the next couple of days. We here at AccuWeather are keeping this as a major hurricane, even as it approaches South Florida by Sunday morning. This potentially could still be a Category 4 storm. So you're still looking at a whole lot of damage, threatening lives and also property. Uh, Brittany, talk to us about Hurricane Jose as well as Katia. Where are they going? Yeah, you know, this is kind of an interesting scenario that we have going on right here. Let me get to the graphic that I do have. And you can see we have triplets in the Atlantic right now. This has only happened two times in history. Uh, three major hurricanes going all at once. You have Katia here that is affecting uh, the southwestern Gulf, uh, right around Mexico. You have Irma that's impacting the Bahamas and also Cuba right now, and this will be headed toward uh, Florida and essentially providing some impacts to the southeast of the United States. But not too far behind Irma, that's where you have Hurricane Jose. And I think a lot of people have been so focused on Irma over the last couple of days. Jose is also going to pose a problem here because the track of it, it's right on the footsteps of Irma. So uh, over the next couple of days, we are going to watch Jose essentially impact the northern leeward islands and you'll remember just a couple of days ago we have these small islands in the caribbean uh, antigua barbuda saint martin a lot of lives were lost out there the track right now has jose impacting those same areas that were devastated just a few days ago